Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Jacqueline here from Beyond Recovery with our August edition of Wisdom Entrepreneurs. In this episode, we had guest speaker Martin Yotov, who is a coach, counsellor, friend, and wonderful, wonderful human being. And he also owns a nanotechnology business. In this episode, Martin talks about how the same intelligence that created the Enlightenment experience for Sydney Banks is the same intelligence that works on butterfly wings. You'll have to watch it to find out what I mean by that and how it connects us all as human beings. And he tells a heartwarming story about him and his mum. If you enjoy this clip, please watch the full episode where you can hear more about Martin's relationship with the principles that guide us through life and how he sees it in his own world. And we'd love to hear from you in the comments about any light bulb moments you've had. And if you want to sign up to next month's Wisdom Entrepreneurs, click on the Eventbrite link below. It's a free monthly webinar and we'd love to have you there. Enjoy. The insight that Sydney Banks has, the way I understand it, when, when, when he came out of this experience, he didn't come and say, oh, there are three principles. He, he said, I know what God is and I will travel around the world and this will change the world. And he also explained that his insight was that everything is made of the same intelligent energy. Everything, everything is made from the same energy. And it's, it, that's exactly the same thing that it's, that's what we know from, from science. And I don't know where he got it, yeah, because I know he did not study quantum physics and, 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 uh, <laughs> and science <laughs> and, and physics, yeah. But we know these days, we, we know from physics, but whenever you look anywhere, when you look into Adam and then you look deeper and deeper and deeper, you don't find smaller and smaller stuff. Suddenly, when you go deep enough, you, you, all you find is vibration. You just find energy, nothing else. There is intelligence in the universe. There is intelligence in life. Our company, our technology company is very much about looking into nature and then seeing whether we could do it, whether we can learn from it. We take, for example, when you take a butterfly, and look at its wings, you can see beautiful colors, amazing, beautiful colors. And when you look under microscope, you don't find any pigment. You don't find any color. You just find a very clever, tiny structure. And the light, when, it, when the light passes through this structure, it refracts and diffracts and creates the appearance of colors. And we can do the same thing. We can create in our companies, what we do is we create these structures and we create beautiful pictures that couldn't be created. But there are many, many other examples. Shark skin. Sharks have very nicely nanostructured skin and it, it serves several purposes. One of them is that the shark can swim faster because of the structure. And also the bacteria can't hold on his skin because of the structure. So it's possible to create structures that are antibacterial and allow very nice flow of water. Uh, there are leaves, lotus leaf, for example, have again, a structure on top, on top of its leaves, which allows it to float on the water and become still remain clean. And then you look under a very strong microscope, you can see this tiny nanostructure that we can replicate. So I could see that there is, there is intelligence in, in, in life and in nature, amazing intelligence. I, I lost love for my, my mother for 10 years before this understanding. She, she was very like I am uh, or I was in that time. She was very good at arguing, very, very good at criticizing and judging. And it would, we couldn't stay longer than five minutes in the room to start fighting. And at that time, I knew it was her fault. <laughs> of course, 
And everyone around me agreed with me because they had the same problem with her. So I knew I, I couldn't be the problem because I got very well on with almost everyone in my life. And with her, it was troubling and, uh, and everyone else had the same problem. So I felt like it must be her, it must be her problem. And then one day through, through this understanding, through the understanding of the thought, how we create our internal state, our, our, our moods and our reality, I could see that the problem is not in her. It has to be in, in, in my thinking. The cure can't be with changing her. It's enough if I see it myself. I don't have to react to everything she says. I remember I was crying for, for like 10 minutes with a deep cry because I, I, I was thinking about 10 years that I lost of time with my, with my mother. And then everything changed. Suddenly, for some reason, when I changed, she started changing too. And I spoke to her. She asked me what I'm doing. And I, I explained to her about this understanding. Just once, I spoke to her about, I don't know, two hours. She didn't ask anything. I just explained what I was doing. And three months after that, she, she, she came to me and she, she told me that she, she just went to visit a doctor. And, and he, he asked her how she was. And she said, I'm great. And he was shocked. Because everyone is complaining, especially when people are older, they are always complaining and she was beaming with happiness. And she told me she heard something and she started apologizing for how she was for so many years. And I told her that there is nothing to apologize for, but I understand that I was exactly the same. Today, we are living in the same house. We have a very large house with five flats on the top floor my sister lives with her family then underneath i live with my family then there's my brother with his family but he lives in prague and in, uh, in other city and he comes uh, from time to time and then on the ground floor there are there are then there's my my mother and my father they are living there i meet my mom every day she gets on very well with my wife so there is no, never any crisis. I, I saw them a few days ago beaming when she, they, they were talking to each other. They were laughing and I could see the, the joy in, in the eyes of my wife when she saw my, my, my mother. When she came from, from a trip, when she was excited that she's home. Suddenly, my, my brother and my sister, who never got along very well, they, they, they suddenly started respecting and loving each other. They hated each other for, no, not hated, they fought a lot since they were very small. They, they were fighting. For 40 years, they were fighting. And suddenly, now, they, they, they hug each other every time they see each other. They, they call themselves. So it was enough. The whole dynamic of the whole house changed when I changed. It's enough. Sometimes it's said that you need two to tango, but uh, now I'm saying you need just one to tango. One person is enough. The life is meant to be. This is how the design works. This is how the intelligence behind life wants us and can help us live our lives. And again, we have the capacity to screw it up. And I was using this capacity very well for many, many years. It's, it's our freedom <laughs> to, to screw it up. And it's also our freedom to, to stop doing it. The only thing we, we, we need to see, the only thing that needs to happen is that we see it. We don't have to do anything extra. We just need to see what is happening. And the moment I can see that I am ruining my life with my own thinking, well, I stop. Not always, but then I see. And then I apologize or I ask for, for forgiveness. <laughs>